Well, hi guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Needy Homesteader channel. And I think my glasses add a little too much glare. So we'll take those off since I'm, I, I don't, you're not that far away from me. I can see you, right? So uh, I got a package in the mail. Now I, I asked you guys yesterday, I wasn't too sure if it was too early for um, seed sharing because <laughs> it's January. Um, but you guys wanted to see it. I had a, a poll. I had never, I don't, I don't remember ever doing a poll on my channel before, so um, I tried the little poll function over on the community channel, or the community page, um, on my uh, home screen, like my, my home profile page for the Needy Homesteader. There's a community tab there, and that's where I post like pictures, and now I can do polls, because I figured that out. That was pretty fun, and I had, the last time I checked, I had over 700 uh, responses so seeds it is like many of you said is it ever too early to talk about seeds I don't think so um, well thank you Kelly over at Michigan uh, and my gardener um, for packing my my package up and I have an order of seeds that I thought I would share with you guys just to kind of show you what um, what I am planting and to give you a little coupon uh, to use on your next order, which is good because somebody asked me if off uh, from uh, church, Miss Cora asked me if I canned pickled beets. And I've not only never canned them, but I've never grown beets. Um, I haven't tried a beet since I was a kid. My mom loved them. So it's been a minute. So I've never even thought about growing them, but they're a root vegetable, much like a radish, and I think I'm going to give them a go. So I went over to my gardener to see what kind of beets he has, and he has several different varieties. So if there's a certain variety you think I should try, let me know. <laughs> because I've never grown them before, so why not, right? So, okay, so let's share what I got here. So hopefully, hopefully I, I should film it this way. Should I film it this way or should I move you guys? Should I turn you guys around? Is it less glary? I just don't want it to be glary for you. Um, the first thing I ordered were these cherry licious tomatoes. Look at all the colors, you guys. And they're all um, like cherry sized. So they're little. I thought they would be really pretty in a salad. So I'm going to give those a try. Never, never grown those before. I am growing spearmint. And I want to grow this as like, kind of like a, not a ground cover per se, but I want to put it in patches where I don't have to worry about um, keeping them, you know, contained. Um, I'm thinking outside around the chicken yard. So, um, so we're going to do some different kinds of mints. I got catnip. I've never grown catnip before, uh, but we kind of adopted a, a, an outdoor cat that's kind of found us. And, um, I figured I would, I would grow some catnip for her. <laughs> uh, some spinach, some butterfly spinach. So I've got that. I've grown this before and it's delicious. Emerald Giant Green Peppers. I love growing green peppers. Um, they don't get super big on me, so I thought I would, maybe I would try the giant ones. I would really like them big enough where I could stuff them. So, um, so I'm going to give those a try. Onion. Which, which one is this? This one is the Red Geneva uh, Onion. So those, of course, always good on hamburgers and in salads. This was new. The Orange... Is it orange, orange glow, orange jeglo watermelon? It's kind of an orange color, but um, over on uh, MI Gardener's website, it says it's one of the sweetest uh, watermelons. So I figured I'd give that one a try. Um, I could not find mammoth dill anywhere. <laughs> it seems like everyone sold out. So I went ahead and got a different kind of dill. We're going to try this one. It is the Ducat dill. Um, of course, uh, this will be later used for pickling. I've never grown marshmallow before, so I'm going to I'm going to try it. There's a um game that we play for homeschool. It's called Wildcraft. And um and it's a it's a game that everybody plays together. Like there's no winner, there's no loser, there's no competition. You have to do it together. And um you go up you go to grandma's house and she sends you out for uh, berries and you have to go up the mountain, collect them and come back down. And along the way you get <laughs> scraped, cut, diarrhea, <laughs> toothache, <laughs> all different kinds of things can 
can happen to you on your journey up the mountain to go get these berries. So along the way, you learn about different kinds of herbs that you can use to treat different ailments. And so you collect these herbs and then when you or one of, you know, whoever's playing, one of your partners come down sick, you can actually, there's cards you have to, you have to collect in order to share your herbs with them. But it's a, it's a cooperative game and it teaches teamwork and, you know, working together and it teaches you a lot about different herbs. So one of those herbs or one of those flowers, I should say, is marshmallow. So I thought that would be fun for us to grow since it, it's in the wild craft game. Uh, another favorite, of course, just rosemary, right? Gotta have some rosemary. St. John's wort. I've never grown St. John's wort. I don't know why, um, <laughs> but I'm gonna grow it now. Uh, sweet marjoram. Of course, these will hit my dehydrator and I will be making uh, my own um, seasonings for um, next year. Cumin. Uh, and last but not least, sage. Gotta have the sage, especially when we do stuffing bread. So those are the seeds that I've collected or added to my collection, I should say. I'm gonna show you. I'll show you. This is what I have so far. So this is my seed box. And I don't remember if I bought this off of Amazon. I'll check for you guys. Or if I bought this at Tractor Supply. I can't remember now. But it's a great bucket that holds my seeds. It's got handles on the side. And then <laughs> if you open it, I hope not everything falls out. You can see I have all my seeds in here along with a little water sprayer that I didn't want to lose. Um, but there's all my seeds. So, <laughs> I don't know if you want me to do a video on all the seeds that I have, but these are the ones that I've been collecting and that I want to grow. Um, I will show you uh, really quickly some of the things that I have bought off of Amazon to help get me started, and just in case it helps you, especially if you're new. I, I've, I've grown, I've had gardens in the past, never as big as the one um, that I'm building here. And what are we on, our fourth year? I think it's our fourth year of growing. And it started out as the, the six raised beds that Matt built for me. And those are gonna stay original. Um, I'm not going to add to those or take away from those. I want those to last forever. I want to be a 90 year old woman working my garden and still having those raised bed garden beds from Matt that he built me. So I'm going to preserve them as, as best as I can. Um, and then we added the arches, of course, to those. Um, and then my garden has grown since then. My dad expanded it last year. Um, I added a small, nothing fancy, a small greenhouse to my garden. Um, I got it from the, the same people, the Amish, uh, Amish people that uh, are up at the corner. Um, they sell sheds up there. Um, all Amish built and uh, they started doing greenhouses and so I got myself a little one because ooh, I sat in prayer over it and I just was like you know there might come a time where um, my babies all my babies really depend on growing food to sustain us and now with the prices of eggs um, by the way <laughs> I'm gonna add this down below in the comment section, let me know how much eggs are in your, in your area. Let me know. You don't have to give me your, your address or anything to keep your privacy. But in a general ballpark of where you live, along with how much your eggs are going for and how much your butter is going for. Because those are the two major things um, that I have noticed that the prices have just skyrocketed now i have been stockpiling butter for quite a while and every time i use butter i stockpile more um i i have about 35 pounds of it downstairs in a freezer um and that's not including what i have up here in my fridge and in my freezer up here um and i just rotate i just rotate and keep it stockpiled um with eggs, however, you know, I haven't bought eggs in a long time because of, I have the chickens, I have the girls. Uh, 
but I'm going to, I, I'm really sitting in prayer about hatching out more hens um, from my own flock this year because I have an incubator now. Um, just to add to the production, just in case my friends and family, my neighbors, my community needs eggs uh, because I've been hearing reports that eggs are even hard to find, like they're just not there. So even if you had the $8 or the $6, however much it is in your area to buy them, you can't find them. So I sat in prayer over this little greenhouse and I was like, you know, um, I was thankful for the income that you guys from, from loving on my videos um, and, and staying with me, I was able to afford it. Uh, so I bought a little greenhouse and I plan to put it in use this year. Um, I couldn't last year just because I had that emergency surgery, second major surgery on my leg. And I spent the whole summer recuperating from that. Um, but this year, Lord willing, Lord willing, he knows I want to play in dirt. Uh, I am going to start the garden and hopefully maybe be able to um, sell some seedlings that will help replenish the money that I've spent on my supplies plus plus others who maybe don't have the room or don't know the have the know-how or the ability to start seeds um, themselves. So um, so that's what I'm being called to do and that's I, I'm, I'm being obedient to it Lord I'm being obedient to it so let me show you some of the things that I bought off of Amazon I will leave links for as many things as I can down below to help you out um, but this is what I'm starting with okay first I bought this little tool it's from Fiskars and it's a little mini I liked it because it, it was really small at the point so it'll make you know starting seedlings may be a little bit easier and i ended up getting these like on clearance off of amazon um i want to say i paid a dollar 49 for this it was one one night one late night uh i was browsing because sometimes that's when you can pick up the like the clearance things that they put on sale and so i picked um i picked one of these up i didn't i i knew i was doing different size pots so i didn't know uh the garden tags that I wanted to use so I I bought some of these and this came with like a, a marker to go with it and then oh, am I showing you that upside down I think I'm showing you up the upside down I got these from Mr. Penn which is where I get my markers for uh my bible journaling and I didn't even know that they sold these so I picked these up from uh Mr. Penn but I grabbed a couple of different designs just to just to have a little mixture of things to use I bought some cups this year instead of using the solo cups, which there's nothing wrong with using the solo cups, but the solo cups have become kind of pricey too. So I was able to pick up, I think there's 150 four inch. I think these are the four inch. Um, yep, 150 pieces, four inch black plastic um, plant cups. So I got 150 of those and then I got some of the six inches for some of the bigger plants, there's a hundred that comes in here. So I grabbed these. And then this year I grabbed 10 more. Uh, it comes in a case of 10 and it comes with the lids, the, the little dome lids. And these are the smaller ones. So you can grow like, you know, a little bit smaller, have little smaller seedlings in these. And then I noticed that they had little bigger cups for bigger plants. So I'm thinking like maybe my tomato plants in these. Um, but I grabbed these again it comes in a 10 pack with the domed lids so I grabbed these off of Amazon and then last year I thought I was gonna grow uh, and garden last year but again uh, my my leg kind of gave me trouble and I ended up in emergency surgery and spent the entire summer rehabbing um, but I bought them in a five pack so if I can find these that I bought last year they come in a five pack just in case you don't need 10 these are a little dirty though because they've been sitting outside for, for quite a while okay you guys that's it that's my little seed haul let me know if you want to see all the seeds that I plan on growing I'm going to go through this seed container um, and really kind of I, I've got I've got to sit down with pen and paper and kind of draw out my plans for um for my garden i would really really love to put in a uh, blueberry patch 
um, maybe some black raspberries. I'd love to do some uh, elderberries. I want to do potatoes this year. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go with that. I saw this on, on a Facebook post. It's like a box with a door. And so you grow the potatoes and then you can open up the latch door and like dig out the potatoes. So I, you need wood though. And wood is so expensive. So I, I really have to kind of be mindful, plan it out, see what my budget allows. And, um, and plan out my garden. But if you want to see the seeds that I end up picking from that bucket on, uh, on what I really want to plant this year, um, let me know. And once I figure all that out, I can make another video. Uh, but I'd like to take you guys along with me because this is new for me. Um, definitely having a greenhouse is new for me. Uh, for those of you who have been following me for a couple of years, you guys know that I set up usually um, racks that I get from Home Depot, just plastic racks. They used to be $25. I think they're close to 50 now uh, with some shop lights. And I grow my starts here in my kitchen, but it got so big and then I ended up with two racks and then I ended up with a mess of dirt everywhere in my kitchen and it just, it began, it, it began to be too much. I'll post some pictures on the community tab so you guys can see uh, roughly what I'm talking about. But I would have plants like all over the floor as they were getting bigger and I was transferring them from this little seedling cup, uh, little seedling trays to the, um, to the solo cups. It just got, it got way out of hand for my kitchen. And my kitchen looks bigger on video, I think, than it, than what it really is. So I just ran out of space. So that factored into buying the small little greenhouse so I can start, hopefully, my plants earlier and I can grow longer. Because here in northern lower Michigan, our grow time, my last frost date is June 1st. So, um, and our first frost can hit in September. So our grow time is really short where we live now. And um, I'm, I'm really looking to extend that. And I was hoping that a small little greenhouse will help me do that. I can start them a little sooner, end it a little later, and at least um, grow things a little bit longer. Lord willing. So let me know if you're interested in that and comment down below about your eggs and your butter because I'm really interested in those prices. And don't let fear rule you. I know I, I keep seeing in my in my feed, you know, all this, the, the fear that's out there of stock up now, stock up now. Look, don't stock up out of fear, out of panic. Buy what you need. Keep a good rotation. Once you get a good... Um, good amount behind you that that's comfortable for you that it's not going to waste in your pantry or getting freezer burned in your freezer when you get a good rotation of how much you use and rotate through it that's that's all you need to keep doing um anything that you build out of fear will not bring you joy and um will just leave you with this feeling of panic and dread every time you walk in your pantry. And you don't want that. Uh, we are not built out of fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Okay? No fear. Um, just keep, be mindful and uh, stock up when you see sales. And um, let me know what your prices are so all of us can kind of evaluate where the high the higher prices are in the country uh, from real folks instead of people on the news. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. Happy Friday. I hope you guys have a blessed weekend and uh, I'll see you soon. All right. God bless. Bye.